Coach, I like those older guys, uh, Robert and Fabian, what kind of a presence are they for you? Not only as players, but I guess coaching up the other guys. Well, I'll tell you what, they've been great. And they've really been leading my example. And, and that's, to me, that's the key. I like guys to go do it themselves and the young guys see it, you know. That's one thing, make coaching easier where you have older guys that, that show by example and the young guys. If a young guy mess up, they would get them straight. Hey, man, that's not the way we do this. We build it a different way. Let's do things the right way. They'll tell them, say, you'll never play for him if you're not doing things the right way. Can you remember the last time you had two older, I mean, like, fifth-year kind of guys you could rely on as your front end guy? No, I can't remember. Can't, I, I haven't had that in a long time. You know, kids been developed right here. The next thing you know, in three years, they're gone, NFL. But it's, it's a blessing. I think those two guys, we really think those two guys coming back to help this football team, not just only football player, as leaders. Since you got Jared Jackson here at FSU, how has he evolved and developed at that position? Jared, Jared has, has, has been working hard. Jerry's getting to build pretty good football. He, he he was a good football player, but he's understanding the technique. He's becoming a he's becoming a technician, and that's what I like. A smart football player. But Jared is he's coming along very well. What has stood out about Josh Farmer so far in camp? Well, the thing about Josh Farmer, Josh Farmer, the thing in the springtime, looking in the backfield a lot. The kid has been playing technique wise. He got all the ability. He's strong. He's faster. He's bigger, believe it or not, 300 pounds. But the thing about it, his technique has gotten better. Understanding the defense, doing the little things right, that's when the big things happen in games. That's how you make plays, doing your job. Coach, you said in the spring you was looking on the backfield. You said something you had to play. Oh, yes. You know, coming out of high school, guys, they want to make every play. First, they're not taught. You know, you strike the block, beat the guy in front of you. What they do, they get into the football first. In college, you're trying to get to the football first. You're looking at the backfield. You got two guys, 6'4", 320 pounds in front of you. They're going to take you in deep third. So you got to be disciplined, whereas you can play your, do your job and play your technique. The physical transformation that Josh has had in just a year and a half or so being on campus, I guess how impressive has that been? That he's been That's very impressive. He's stronger. Believe it or not, he's faster. Coming from about 260. He's 300 pounds, he's faster. And you know, I, I tell you, Josh is a kid, I had to push him a lot in the first guy that he really didn't understand certain things. But also gaining that extra weight too, that slows you down, but pushing him, getting him back. And, and the good thing about it, he's been listening well. I know sometimes you get frustrated, but I tell him it's a reason for the fight. It's a reason for the fight, brother. Where does Robert Cooper at from a conditioning standpoint? I can tell you this, he out there playing hard. I can tell you that much. He's not loafing to the football, I tell you that. And he's not going to loaf to the football. How, how similar and how different are the two positions? It's very similar, man. You know, you're going to get a down block, you're going to get a base block, you're going to get a slip block, you get double teams. All of it is the same. You, know? you just got to be mentally strong and, and being a and have very good technique playing that position. Because you think about it, you got 640 pounds, six inches away from you. You can't be telling, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. Hey, teach them how to get in a good stance. Teach them what to look at. And striking blockers and being disciplined. So, when they, uh, so in terms of who can be out there with each other, any of them can be out there with each other? Yes, and I did that on purpose. I don't want. You know, a lot of times you get Coop and Fabian out there first. Sometimes I put a younger guy in there with Fabian, a young guy in there with Coop. Let them play. Let them get their confidence. But, you know, I want all of them to be able to play in a position up front. Versatile. How, how good has it been to have Coach Shane on the field? I know he was around the program last year, but he couldn't be on the field. It's awesome. It's amazing. Him and I talk about it. and We played against each other, tried to knock each other head off. We coach against each other, recruit against each other, and now we're coaching with each other. That's a blessing for me. It's great having him out there because Coach Shannon always been the type of guy, old school mentality, but he work hard, class act, class act. Great dude to be around, you know, and always have respect for him. Always have respect for the guys down there. What can you say about Coop's development as a guy who came in and needed to work on his his, his weight and, and everything to a guy who's breaking the rock at the end of, of summer. And the, the mentality of Coop, 
you know, Coop has always been a great kid. And the mentality of Coop, understanding how good he can be, what he had to do to help this football team. That's the thing, the, the mentality part. But if, you, if you can get that, showing the kid that you love him, if you're in the fight with him, man, they'll do anything in the world for you. And I love the kid. How different of a look is the offensive line for you guys this year compared to last year for your group in this point? Yeah, Coach Ag is doing a good job. He's a very good coach. And last year, you had them guys, you know, that have lack of depth. He's a very good technician. It makes our guys strain the way he coached. And that's that's good. Awesome. Thanks, guys.